Hey, it's me, Jeannie, and today I'm going to tell you about feeling younger because I'm always talking about looking and feeling younger and what you can do. And I'm always telling you guys about green superfoods and how good these capsules are that you can break them apart and you can get your wheatgrass for the day, your daily amount. Or you can buy amazing grass, wheatgrass, or this green superfood. Now, if you buy the green superfood, it has broccoli, alfalfa, it has wheatgrass, it has spirulina, it has everything in it that's good for you. And I'm going to show you. You open it up. And this is about two months old, and it lasts about a year. It lasts forever. And as you can see, I've used a lot of it. And what you do is it comes with a little scoop. You can use it as a swish in your mouth to um, make your mouth just feel amazing and make your teeth feel good. And it's like, it's green powder. So it does look funny, but it has a sweet taste. It has a good taste to it. And I'll usually put one of these spoonfuls in my smoothies in the morning, and it's really good. But today I'm gonna grow my own wheatgrass. So I have these little pellets in here, these growing pellets, peat pellets. And if you put them out here in the water, which I'm about to do, they will expand a little bit and it will just help fertilize your wheatgrass. You don't have to use that, but I just came with the trays. I got this tray for $5 at Home Depot. It's the kind of tray I need. And I can even use the top tray to grow my wheatgrass. As you can see, I could use this one too, the top part of it, because it's deep enough to grow it, to put good organic soil. And I went and I bought the natural organic seed starting mix which I like. You want to get organic, clean soil. That's really good. And this is professional greenhouse quality. And right now, as you can see, I have this little yard. I don't have a big yard. And I do have a lot of flowers growing. And I'm always adding more purple flowers. And I love purple petunias. But I've got all kinds of them. Every kind of flower you can imagine growing here. And I have tons of bulbs. Like right now, all of my... Um, Caladium bulbs are coming up everywhere in my gardens. But I try to keep everything purple and white, but the hibiscus are red. <laughs> but um, as you can see, it's a little yard. The only place I thought of where I could have a greenhouse with herbs to help me look and feel younger and put in my smoothies would be right over here by the sand over there against that little corner there. But as you can see over here, I do have peppermint growing. Now you can take peppermint right off the plant you can break a piece off and you can actually take this and chew it just put it in your mouth and chew it and I'm trying to turn the camera around so you can see me I don't think I can do it on this but I'm chewing some right now and it's really good but these little pots I have them growing and that's a sunflower growing a big sunflower and um, you can hear the birds in the background and then I do have a little bird sanctuary over there in the corner. But you can see it's a very small yard. I don't have a lot of space. And we are looking for another house in South Florida, but we're keeping this. This is our city house. So I'm going to let these little peat moss things get a little water from the rain out here. And then I'm going to open up my organic seed starting mix. But I wanted to show you guys that... I just wanted my fresh wheatgrass, so I decided to grow fresh wheatgrass. And wheatgrass is amazing. It gives you so much energy, gives you natural energy, it promotes detox, it helps you alkalize, it helps with your intestinal digestion, and it supports your immunity. And it can even get rid of bacteria in your mouth and make your teeth feel amazing. If you've had tooth problems and you switch with this twice a day, you can do the green superfood or the wheatgrass. You won't have tooth problems. It will completely take them away. It's just awesome. But what I do is I go to the health food store and I buy these red wheat berries. You can buy them. And these little berries I would actually turn into the um, wheatgrass. So you get it and you soak it and you drain it for two days. You just soak the seeds like this. And then you drain them. And you see all the white? Those are all little sprouts. I've been doing it for two days. 
And I keep them right here on my growing ledge. Oh, I just spilled water on it. I gotta get that off. But where I keep my orchids and stuff. And I have a lot of succulents too that are getting really big, but that's where I like to germinate my sprouts. And I just germinate them in a glass container. And as you can see, you can see all the little tails on them because the wheatgrass has sprouted. And that's why I know these sprouts are ready for me to plant them. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the sprouts. And by the way, when the wheatgrass grows, it will get about as tall as this grass over here. And then what you do is you cut off the top of the grass and you throw it in your smoothie blender, your juicer, and you juice it. I actually got wheatgrass out here in that grass one time because I had a tray of it over here in this garden and the tray of wheatgrass accidentally blew into there and so I got some wheatgrass in my grass. But it's real breezy and as you can see the sky is dark today. Not the optimum day for planting but that's the perfect size tray for growing your wheatgrass. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dirt and I'm going to put a layer of it in. Now, why do I put wheatgrass in my smoothies? Wheatgrass can actually fight cancer. And it actually makes your hair go back to its original color, believe it or not. Wheatgrass is just amazing. And so what I'm doing over here is I'm going to take these seeds and I'm going to lay them on some dirt. And I'm going to put a little light dirt over it. And then I'll show you a video in a day, and you can see how it's starting to sprout through the dirt. I'll show you that. I wanted to let you know, too, a lot of times you can buy these capsules of green superfood. And again, it has spirulina, alfalfa, it has sunflower sprouts, it has wheatgrass, everything you want in it. It's by Amazing Grass. And it's your daily greens that you need. And I like these because they come in these little capsules. I'm going to show it to you here. These little capsules and I break them open so I just take it with my teeth I open the capsules because I don't like to swallow plastic of any kind I just can't do it and I pour this powder which is pure wheatgrass and alfalfa and broccoli and barley and sunflower every good green that's a natural live green that your body needs full of chlorophyll and I put it right in my smoothie every day before I go to the gym because remember, the goal of my channel is to help women look and feel younger. Um, and so anyway, I even use this powder with coconut oil. I mix it and I use it as a facial in the morning. I put it on my face and then I rinse it off. So I want more wheatgrass. And that's why I'm growing my own wheatgrass now. So I'm going to go now, but I just want to tell you guys, try it. Try growing your own wheatgrass too. Remember, it's simple. You just go to the health food store, you buy those red barley seeds, and they'll tell you which ones turn into wheatgrass, so you'll know which ones to get. Get a little bag of them and soak them in water for a few days, and then plant them in the soil. Check it out. In a couple of days, I'll show you the growth and how much it's grown. This is Jeannie, your spa girl, and again, I want you to look and feel younger, so try real live greens and make sure that you're juicing, you've got smoothies going with all kinds of good herbs in them, and make sure that you're using your wheatgrass or your super greens, and you can buy them at the Publix, you can buy them at grocery stores now, and health food stores, and I highly recommend it. But I like everything fresh, and that's why I've got the tray, and I'm going to do my own wheatgrass. Bye!